Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know the setup is a bit different but I'm just about to film some declutter videos. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be my introduction for that. And if you've seen this clip before it's because I may be using this in several declutter videos but I won't ramble on for too long. And if you're wondering what I'm going to do with the product I'm decluttering, I'm mainly going to hand them down to my mom because she rarely ever buys any makeup and giving her my declutter items are usually something that I'm makes me really happy because she doesn't really buy makeup for herself so yeah that's the first thing I'm gonna do and if she doesn't want it I'm gonna give it to my friends and if they don't want it yeah I then I will probably throw it away because I don't really have any places I can um, donate makeup here but anyway that is it uh, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into the decluttering Hi guys, so I'm back with another declutter and I have all my blushes right here and um, just as I did in my liquid lipstick roulette, I will start by sorting these out by color and then I will go from there. So I have all my categories here um, I'm not sure how evenly I kind of went through these but from what I went through I have my corals, my like medium pinks, my light pinks, my really blue toned pinks and these are my neutrals. I know that I have kind of overlapping again with categories but I think I will start with one category and kind of sort that into smaller categories. And I'm obviously going to start with the largest one, which is this one right here. So I opened up all of the current blushes, which are the ones right here. And as I can see, I have kind of, again, categories that I am overlapping. So I feel like this one and this one, for example, are very blue toned. And I think these can go with the blue toned pink. So I will move them over and go through them later. And then what I will do is divide this into two categories, which is more corally pinks and then more like classic pinks. Okay, so I think I have my categories finally. And I'm going to start with this one, which is more the corally neutral pink. And then I have more the hot pinks in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch all of these out and then I will be right back. The first one I have right here is this one from NYX. And this one is one of their cream blushes in the shade... Rose Petal. This one is quite old in my collection and I think it's time to declutter this one so this will be the first to go. Next to that I have one of my all-time favorite blushes and that is Frat Boy by The Balm. That is the one right here so it is quite similar to the um, NYX blush but uh, the NYX blush is a cream and this one is a powder but this one will definitely be staying. Next up we have this one right here, which is a cold classic in the beauty community and that is Orgasm from NARS. Uh, this is what it looks like. It is a beautiful blush uh, and this one will be staying as well because I really really enjoy it. Next up we have the blush all the way at the end here uh, and that one is from Bobbi Brown. This one <clears throat> is one of their shimmer bricks in the shade Nectar. I really quite enjoy this and I do really love these uh, shimmery blushes. So even though it is a bit similar to um, Orgasm by NARS, this one will be staying as well because I do reach for these quite often. And then the final blush that I have swatched right here is actually a duo. I'm not sure if you can, yeah, you can see both of them there. This one is more of a highlight color and then this one is the blush. And that one is from NARS and is one of their dual intensity blushes in the shade. Uh, adoration this one this is what it looks like I really quite like this as a highlight and this one is quite a nice blush it is really really pigmented though so you have to be a bit careful but this one will be staying as well mainly because I really love this highlight so moving on I'm gonna swatch the next category which are these blushes right here and I will be right back so moving on we have these blushes right here and we're gonna start on this end right here and right there we have the sleek blush in the shade Flamingo. As you can see this one is very very bright uh, and it is quite similar to these 
of the rest of the ones here perhaps not the last one but these three are really quite similar um, and this one is just really really bright I think this one is the brightest of them all even though they're all are quite bright so I think this one will be decluttered as well because I do have similar shades and this one is almost a bit too bright to be using Next up, however, we have one of the Clinique Chic Pops in the shade Berry Pop. This one I really, really love. This one, like I said, is quite similar to the previous shade. But this one is just way better and I just prefer this formula because it's more buildable than the sleek one. So this one will be staying. Next to that, we have again a really, really similar shade. And as you can see, I have quite a few of these shades and I just feel like it's unnecessary keeping all of them because I don't reach for this type of shade super often. And the next blush I have right there is this one from Bobbi Brown and this one is one of their blushes in the shade Nectar, uh, which I think is quite a weird name because this is quite a blue tone pink. But I really, really love the formula of this, but like I said, I just have too many of these shades so this one will be decluttered as well next up on that row we have this shade right here which is the one that is the most different and that one is a mini blush from nars this one is in the shade ghoul ghoulie ghoulie not sure how you pronounce that this one was the uh VIB Rouge gift, I think, a couple of years back, and I really, really like this one. Um, it is more of a neutral pink, which I like, uh, so I will be keeping this one as well. Moving on to the second row, the first blush we have is right here, and that one is from NYX, and this one is one of their blushes in the shade Peach. As you can see, this one is broken, the packaging uh, is completely broken, and um, I do have similar shades as you can see, so I think this one will have to go mainly because the package is, is broken uh, and I just don't reach for it because of that. Next to that we have another favorite from NARS. This one is in the shade Deep Throat. It's a stunning peachy pink blush and I really really like this one. I actually prefer this one to Orgasm uh, but I do like both of them uh, and just to show you that is a swatch of it right there. Next up we have this one right here, which is one of the Max Factor cream blushes in the shade Soft Pink. It is the one here on the end. I am quite torn about this one because as you can see it is similar to some shades that I've already shown you. But since I decluttered the other cream blush from uh, NYX, I think I will be keeping this one because um, yeah, I just feel like having a cream blush is quite good. Uh, so this one will be staying as for now. Moving on to the next category, we have it all right here, and this one is blue tone pinks, and again I will swatch this out and I will be right back. So these are the next blushes uh, that I have to show you guys, and the first one is right here, and it's this one from Clinique, and it's one of their cheek pops in the shade Plum Pop. I really like this one, I actually prefer it to the other one I showed you earlier, uh, but I do really really love these like blue tone pinks, which is why I think I like this one so much uh, And this is again a formula. I really enjoy so I will be keeping this one Next up we have one of my favorite blushes of all time. It is a bit battered I kind of cracked it in the corner here and tried to fix it which didn't really work properly But I can still use this um, and I really love it. This one is from Dior and it's the uh, Rosy Glow blush in number one I love this one and um, I have it swatched on my hand right there. It is the light swatch uh, But this just looks so beautiful on the cheeks I feel like this looks the best on me in the winter time and it just gives your cheeks the most stunning look And I will definitely be keeping this one Similar to that we have the blush right here, which is from sleek and this one I think is a really good dupe. This one is a bit darker uh, and a bit brighter, but it would a light tan. This gives a really similar effect. And this one is in the shade Pixie Pink. I love this shade, and I will be keeping this one again, even though it gives a really similar uh, result to the Rosy Glow blush by Dior. Uh, and I just feel like it's good to have a drugstore dupe, so I will be keeping this one as well. Next to that, we have the blush on the end right here. And this one is quite a similar shade to the last one actually, but it is just more shimmery. And that one is from Becca, and it's one of their luminous blushes in the shade Camellia. I love this blush. 
it can be a bit bright but I just love the formula of these blushes and they just give the most beautiful sheen to your cheeks. So I will definitely be keeping this one as well. It's one of the newer blushes in my collection and I love it. And then the last blush is the one here on the end right there. And that one is also from NARS and it's one of their blushes in the shade Matahari. This one I like and it is quite similar to some of the shades I've decluttered before, for example like the Bobbi Brown blush. So I will be keeping this one as for now and NARS is a formula that I really love for blushes which you will see uh, throughout this declutter. So, moving on to medium pinks, these are the ones that I'm working with. Uh, again, I'm gonna swatch these out and I will be back. The first one I have is right here and that one is from Chanel. This one is in the shade Inspiration, it's one of their cream blushes. I really quite like this one. However, it is starting to dry out and I haven't used it too much, so I think I will be decluttering this one actually. Next to that we have this blush right here and this one is from Max Factor and it's one of their puff blushes in lovely pink. This were, these were really popular a while back and it is the swatch right there. I'm not sure how well you will be able to see these blushes because they are quite light but it's right there. This one I really quite enjoy and uh, this one is kind of what I wanted the next blush to be so I will be uh, keeping this one. Speaking of what I wanted that one to be, uh, that one, this one is from MAC and it's in the shade Well Dressed. This one just gives no color payoff at all. It's just like, it is swatched right there and you can't see it at all basically. And I really, really tried to give a swatch but it just doesn't give any color. I'm really disappointed in this blush. It's the only blush I own from MAC but from trying this one I will not be repurchasing any more uh, blushes from them because I really really don't like this one. It may be the color, it may be this formula, not sure, but this one will definitely be decluttered. And then lastly on the top row we have the blush right there and that one is from Chanel again. And this one is right here and it's one of their uh, powder blushes in the shade Rose Initial. This one uh, is also kind of similar to uh, what I wanted Well Dressed to be, but this one is also really, really pretty. And I will be keeping this one as well. Moving on to the blushes up here, we're gonna start with this one right here, which is really, really glowy. This one could be considered a highlighter or blush topper, but I think this will work as a blush for me in the winter time. And this one is from NARS and it's in the shade Free Soul. Uh, this one was limited edition, I believe, for the summer or spring but I really really love this one and it's quite new for my collection so I will be keeping this one as well. Next to that we have this blush right here which is um, Dandelion from Benefit. I really really love this one as, as you can see I have used this so much and this one is a really nice everyday blush for me uh, and since I used so much of it I think I will put this in a product pan eventually so I will be keeping this one for now. And then the last blush is swatched out right there. This one is uh, a cream blush again from K Kiko, I believe. Yes, from Kiko in the shade in Intuition Peach. This one is quite nice. I really quite like this cream blush. And I actually think I only have one more cream blush in my collection, uh, which I showed you earlier. So I will be keeping this one as well because I really quite like this one. And this one is more glowy than the previous cream blush that I do have. So this will be my next category and as you can see these are the coral blushes I own. I will divide these into two. I will have the more glowy blushes and then the more orangey ones. So I will start swatching these out and I will be back. So the first four blushes I have are swatched right here. The first one which is this really glowy beautiful blush is this one from MAC. Not sure if this is supposed to be a highlighter but I use it as a blush. And this one is one of their... Extra Dimension Skin Finishes in the shade Fairly Precious. I love this one. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time. It is just so stunning on the cheeks. It is quite glowy, but I love using this in the summer. So I will definitely be keeping this one. Next to that, I have these two blushes right here. And I'm very torn about these two. I have the Coralista blush by Benefit, as well as the Milano Luminoso blush. These two are quite similar, 
but the uh, Luminoso blush is just slightly lighter and this one is a bit more corally pink. I use these shades all the time and I don't have too many coral blushes so I actually think I will keep both of these at the moment even though they are quite similar but I do reach for both of these so I can kind of justify keeping them both. And then the last blush in this category is this one right here which is a bit different and that one is from NARS again and this one is in the shade Taj Mahal. This one is a really nice burnt orangey blush and I really really quite like this. I haven't had this for too long but I like it so far so I will be keeping this one as well. So next up we have these ones which are the more typical corally blushes. Um, this one I swatched them out again on my hand and as you can see these are really really similar. So let's start with this one which is from Tarte and this one is one of their Amazonian clay brushes in the shade Tipsy. As you can see, I dropped mine so it has a crack in it. I had this for so long and it's my only Amazonian clay blush from Tarte. I feel like I haven't used this enough for as long as I've had it. And I do have quite a few similar shades you can see. This one is, again, this one on the end right here. So I actually think I will be decluttering this one. Um, since it is also broken, I'm scared to travel with this one and... I just feel like since I have similar shades, this one can leave. Next up, we have this blush right here, which is the one there. This one is from Laura Mercier, and this is in the shade Lush Nectarine. I feel like this one can stay because it is a bit more orangey than pink, or like pinky coral. And it's also uh, kind of has the sheen to it, which I really quite enjoy in blushes. And it is also quite compact and good to travel with, so I will be keeping this one as for now. Next to that, we have this blush right here, which again is one of the Clinique blushes. This is the one, this is the last one I have from them, and this one is in the shade Peach Pop. Again, I really, really quite like this formula, and um, yeah, I just like it. And since I decluttered the third one, which is quite similar, I will be keeping this one. The next one, which is the last one on this row, which is right there, I have this one, which is from Sleek, and it's the blush in it Life's a Peach. I really, really love this one. I feel like this one is a bit more unique than the other ones, because this is way more orangey than coral. I love this shade in the summer. It is beautiful. I definitely recommend this one. I uh, think this is really not good, and the quality is super nice. It is a super cheap blush, but I definitely definitely feel like I would pay double the price easily. And yeah, I definitely recommend this one. It is quite a unique shade in my collection. The last blush we have on, in this category is this blush right here. It's a mini of the Benefit uh, California blush. And it is swatched right here on the top. This one is a bit newer in my collection and I haven't used it that much yet but it is quite small and I think this would be really nice to travel with and I do quite like this shade of blushes so I will be keeping this one as well. And then the last three blushes I have right here and I will swatch them out and we can go through them together. So we have them swatched right there on my hands. These are my most neutral blushes I own. So let's start with this one right here, which you can barely see on my hand. And that one is from uh, Physician's Formula. And it's one of their butter blushes in the shade Plum Rose. This one is quite a unique shade in my collection. It is very like almost gray toned. Um, I purchased this in the springtime and I haven't had this for too long. And I think this will look beautiful in the winter time, so I will definitely be keeping this one. First, because it is quite a unique shade in my collection, and also because um, I haven't had it for too long. And then the last two blushes I have are right here. This one is from Benefit, and it is Rocator in a swatch right there on my hands. And I really, really quite like this blush. It is quite unique, and I think this will suit a lot of different skin tones, so I will be keeping this one. And then the final blush I have is Luster from NARS. This one again is quite unique in my collection and I don't own too many of these neutral blushes so I will be keeping this one as well. So going through my blushes I actually found two that I want to declutter. Um, and that one is this blush from Chanel. This one is the blush in Rose Initial. I just feel like I have too many of these blushes and if I'm honest with myself, I haven't reached for this that much. So this one will be decluttered as well. 
The second blush that I found that I'm really, really torn about, but I know I have too many blushes, so I should be decluttering more. And this one is from Laura Mercier, and it's the blush in Lush Nectarine, like I mentioned before as well. So this one will be decluttered as well. So, counting all of the blushes up, I am decluttering nine, which I feel like is pretty good. Um, again, this isn't a ruthless declutter. I have a really hard time letting go of blushes, so... Yeah, I think that's why I have to do this declutter, but it's also the reason why I can't declutter half of my collection, basically. But I have 9 decluttered, and I counted the blushes that I have left up, and I kept 27. So that is basically getting rid of a fourth of my collection, which I said isn't the most hugest amount of blushes, but it's still a four from a collection, which is really, really good. So yeah, that was all for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I would love to have you in the family. Otherwise, I hope you're having the best of days and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.